Hey, what is up guys? Guitar Rock here, welcome back to another Black Clover M video. Now Julius, I'm sure uh, plenty of you guys have pulled for him. Now let's talk about what's the best way to build him. Now let me get him up to, to be the LR first. Legendary Rare. Get now, results. Julius is the strongest character strong. in the game by far. Alright, so no other character. Uh, competing with probably the Swimsuit Noel for now, right? Those two are going oh. to be the best. However, Julius do have the typing advantage against Noel. Now this is going to be what makes Julius really really strong. Once you unlock him to LR, he has the ability to have this unique passive. Now for every 15 speed, grants 3% increased damage dealt. Uh, every turn, grants time accumulation stacks up to 5 times. Now time accumulation basically increases damage dealt by special skills by 10%. So you are going to get a lot of uh, damage just by stacking speed because for every 15 speed, you are going to get more uh, you know, increase damage. So ideally, that's going to be what you want to lean towards. Now let me try and power him up a little bit more, and you know, we can talk from there. Okay, so first things first, uh, let's talk a little bit about the other passive. So what other passive am I talking about? This particular one. So if you can get dupes for Julius, alright, this is going to be very very important. Um, especially, uh, you don't really need to pull specifically using dupes, but I did manage to get uh, one extra dupe for, for myself. But you can see right here, if you unlock, you just need to use uh, some of this universal uh, SSR mage to be able to unlock dupes, I'll do that later. But what this does is you will be able to unlock the enhanced passive. Right, if defeated for the first time upon receiving damage, grants temporal reversal. That means you will be able to revive with full HP, alright, um, my bad, 45% uh, HP uh, in this particular case, and to be able to go back into battle. So basically you can revive once if you die one time in the battle. This is going to be very, very good in PvP, alright, it's very, very annoying. A lot of people are going to have two lives for Julius, and that's going to be something that you have to like try to figure out how to tackle. Now for skill page, obviously his own skill page is going to be the best. Now if you don't have his own skill page, you can either go for uh, this particular one, right? This is a very universal one, alright, the Breath of Darkness, or you can also go with, uh, I'm currently equipping this particular one, damage dealt uh, 12%. Alright, this is these two are very very good uh, attacker skill pages, which you know you can consider. But ideally, if you can afford to get his skill page, definitely uh, go for that particular one. Now, skill priority. A lot of people keep asking me uh, for this particular one. So this is going to be the best skill, the ultimate skill or the special skill rather, right? So this one is the one that inflicts stun uh, on the enemy, reduce mobility debuff on the enemy, twenty five percent. That's quite a lot, and also grants extra turn if you are able to kill an enemy. So all this combined is going to give you a lot of damage. Look at this, right? I'm going to try to power this up even more. And man, that's just a lot of damage overall. 155% uh, scaling. So that's going to be something that's like really, really crazy. Uh, you want to prioritize special skill first, followed by skill 2 afterwards. Now skill 2 is going to be uh, also important, but you can see you have a percentage, uh, in this case 50% chance to inflict time stop for two turns now and also grants increase uh, speed to yourself for one turn so time stop meaning the enemy cannot cast their skill too right and then freezes it so it's going to be very very important these two skill a uh, skill one he also has the ability to basically inflict five percent reduce mobility debuff on the enemy and if you are able to create grants not just yourself but all allies a 5% increased mobility buff. Now skill 1 is not is important but it's not that important you have to prioritize on special skill first followed by skill 2 and then maybe skill 1 last. Uh, as for combine attack, you know, if you have buff attacks after granting 30% uh, increased damage dealt. Alright so that's going to be something important. Inflicts 10% reduced mobility uh, debuff as well. So I would say uh, skill 3, skill 2 and combine attack maybe have the same priority and skill 1 has the least priority. So if you have to choose uh, in that particular order. Now as for the talents, something that uh, is very very important, I haven't completed my Julius yet, still farming some of these. But the best one for the attack one, I recommend going for the damage deal 5% and also the crit damage. So crit damage 10% is going to be very very good as well. Now for the defense side, uh, obviously the defense and also the defense uh you know 4% and crit rest 2% at the start of wave that's going to be very very important make sure that he's as tanky as possible right you don't want him to die uh if possible and then uh for this particular one the hp one or the support one uh, you want to go for accuracy and penetration right the reason why accuracy is it helps with debuffs uh, julius do you know 
can apply some debuffs so that's going to help you 5% is going to be uh, something that's you know easily uh, very very strong and also I do recommend this particular one the Major's Blessing 20% chance to grant a reduced skill to a cooldown by one turn at the start of a turn so this is all what I recommend is going to be the best build for Julius overall now let's talk about uh, gears alright something that's very very important how should you gear your Julius? So first things first, Julius scales off magic attack. So you need to pay close attention to that. Uh, I don't really have much of this particular uh, good uh, accessories yet. So I'm just going to take out whatever I can find and equip it on him. Uh, sadly, yeah, my accessories are super super limited. Maybe I'll take out some from Astar since I'm not going to be... I don't know if Julius is going to completely replace Blue Yami. Most likely that's going to be the case. Uh, I'm just going to unequip my blue yummy. Alright, and then put this on the attacker. And one more for the, the earring as well. So this is going to help uh, a little bit. Alright, so since they are both blue type characters. Now as for the gear side, uh, you want to go for, like I said, focus on magic attack as your main stat. Uh, so for this particular one, anyone that, uh, you know, between attack or attack, magic attack, go for magic attack. Uh, magic attack is going to be the scaling and then for the set now attack and speed is going to be the best right so right now i have this particular speed set full set running on him now this particular one is very very good uh, grants the wearer a five percent increased speed for two turns at the start of a wave very very good do you really need the four piece Probably not, you can get away with just 2 piece. The 4 piece is going to give you speed plus 5 uh, additional, right? This is going to help me, give me a little bit of edge on PvP, definitely for sure. Uh, because I don't have Valtos built yet. So uh, if you have Valtos or uh, William that can, uh, you know, help you to boost you. Valtos especially is going to make you very very fast. Uh, consider that as well. And then, uh, you know, you can go for 2 piece attack. Uh, preferably if you can have uh, this particular one. Um... Not this particular one, but the, the one with the star. That's going to be the better set. Uh, I meant this one, right? So this is going to give you way better. Two pieces of this, but I don't have magic attack of this piece. So still farming for gears, uh, trying to get better ones. Uh, you know, trying to see if I can get the magic attack as opposed to regular attacks. Now let's talk a little bit about the best team for Julius. And the best way is just to jump into arena, I guess, and show you guys how you know how to basically take advantage of julius you can see uh ending rank now i went down to master okay i'm good with that season rewards have been sent to your mail i got 800 of that all right i'm pretty happy with that so let's see if i can try to tackle this particular team so what am i going to use i'm gonna bring this so julius is going to replace uh in this case right what Something like this is going to be pretty decent, alright? You can also consider Radis instead of Mars in this lot. But Lotus is still going to be very, very beneficial. Uh, it's, it is a little bit greedy, right? But this particular team, uh, you know, you have Lotus, Mars, and then Julius and Noel to basically focus in, you know, um, getting rid of the enemies fast, alright? Lots of AoE. And good thing is there's no need for preset per se. So this is going to be a very, very good one. So Mars can be replaced with Redis, right? Obviously, that's also going to be a very, very strong one. So let's see. Julius is going to be insane. But if you have Valtos, Valtos and Julius, very, very good pair in PvP for sure. Okay, look at that. Damn, already there's a lot of damage going in. Okay, so that's the enemy's debuff. Okay, so Noel with skill 2 first. Stun removal. So one good thing about Julius is the ability to do stun. Alright, the stun is just extremely, extremely valuable. Okay, um, red hits blue. Not gonna do much. But yep, you can see, uh, shouldn't be too difficult. Time stop right there. Damn. Alright, he is doing uh he's doing his part, I guess. Okay, so uh one thing that you guys have to be careful is also the debuffs might not sometimes come true, depending on the if enemy has Mars or not, right? Because uh Mars I believe provides debuff immunity. 
So some of the debuffs might not uh, go through, which is something that you want to pay attention to. Uh, which is um, this particular skill right here, right? Uh, just so you guys know, um, you gotta pay very close attention to that. Uh, so definitely, I think Mars will still have his slot in PvP due to this particular one. Uh, all allies get debuff immunity for one turn at the start of the combat, which is going to make Mars a very, very strong contender for PvP. All right, I do prefer Mars over Redis because of this. Uh, if enemy is faster than you, they can't really apply their debuffs as much. So something that you still want to uh, take into consideration. But I do think that Julius is going to be a very strong damage dealer. He's going to fit into any team, all right? As long as you support him well, you still need a tank or a debuffer to help, you know, balance things out. But he oh. is very, very Come strong, back, all right? Very, very strong contender. So yeah, uh, with that being said, hopefully this is going to be a good introduction to Julius for you guys who are looking to build him up. Uh, maybe I'll consider pulling more. We'll see how it goes. But for now, take care. Merry Christmas. That's going to be it. Subscribe if you guys haven't already. Give this video a like. I'll see you guys soon. Have a nice day. Goodbye.